Hi, on this video I will show you uh, how a spring bypass can benefit uh, and increase your lumens output. I have uh, I have three three big lights here. Um, I got a lot of lumens increase from this Astrolux with the, all the spring bypass. Uh, with the direct track drive without the bypass, I got 12,000 lumens. With the spring bypass on this flashlight, I got a roughly 15,000 lumens. So what, that, why, what I did was I bypass all the spring with uh, a cables. In this case, I am using a 26AWG size cable, silicon, highly flexible silicon cable, like so, if you can see it. Since the spring is made of a long, tightly wound wire, it will, it will increase resistance. That's why you want to, on high-powered flashlight like, like this, let me increase the... Uh, exposure like so like so you can see it there's a wire that bypass the, the spring length inside the spring itself I'm not sure if you can see it like so this will benefit in high powered flashlight so I'll show you how to do this all fla oh. including the spring on the driver's side here. I hope you can see it. It's probably hard to see on the camera. So the the, the function of the cable is to bypass bypass the the length of the spring with the shorter path for the electricity. Or less. The increase is quite significant in my case. It depends on the on the flashlight that you are using. And it also depends on the driver that you are using. Uh, a spring bypass will benefit if you are using a direct drive uh, driver, such as uh, well, this is a modified Astrolux, which uh, in standard is not using direct drive, but this is not standard Astrolux. And I also I also did a spring bypass on this one too. This is an MT09R. This is not the, uh, as you can see here, if you, hope you can see it. There's a wire running in the middle from the top to the bottom directly, so it's creating shorter path, which means shorter inter, uh, resistance. Um, I don't get much increase on this, probably a thousand lumens, but with the a driver with a, with a replacement driver that high light promise it's supposed to uh, well the uh, BLF member Texas is getting what, 23,000 lumens with the direct drive and of spring, spring bypass I also did a both uh, no four springs here inside and there's one inside also. Let me shine light on it. Oops, too bright. There's also springs, two springs, which you need to bypass. And you need to open it from the other side. You need to undo it from, undo the retaining ring. And four screws on this case. You also need to bypass this spring. Since this spring carry more current, you need a, you probably need a bigger cable. On this one, I'll, uh, I, uh, I am using a 20 w, AWG size silicon cable. So, let's get this out of the way. Let me, let me put this back together. Carefully, as always. You don't want to, you don't want to do any, uh, let me decrease the, exposure a bit no, there you go you don't want to do any battery reverse 
in this configuration or otherwise you will be getting a nasty burn because these cells can handle a lot of current and you don't want that make sure everything is right double check okay the spring bypass today I'll be doing it on the VLF Q8 uh, I'm not sure how much gain I'll be getting on this but I'll try it anyway most spring bypass will will gain some increase in lumens whilst, while on the other flashlight it will gain you a lot but let's try it on this flashlight and see how do we get uh, how do we get a lumen let, let, let's do the bypass thankfully we've only got uh, four springs on this flashlight so that because there's no spring on the driver side now on the Q8 you just need to undo the um, the tail cap which only like so as you can see you have to undo all four screw in order to extract the the PCB there you go, hold on, hold on, yeah, there you go Alright. <clears throat> Any resistance modification I mean will in will increase uh, lumens at some degree but how much it depends on the mod. As you can see, aha. Uh -huh. There you see. We've got four springs here the, as you can see that the spring is made of a long uh, I'm not sure whether as you can see it has two giant big spring and smaller spring inside so it already has two springs let's see if doing a spring bypass will increase the uh, lumens well, I'll do it anyway just for fun so in the, um, I'll be using the in this case I'll be using the 26AWG silicon uh, hold on let me make it there we go how you can see it it's the 26AWG size cable you probably could use uh, 24 but uh, I only got 26 or or 20, 20 WG is just too big for my thing and it's not easier as easy to work with so uh, this is the 20, 20 AWG 28 gauge cable so this is a lot, lot larger compared to this this is this is so large so I'll stick with the 26 for this now now <clears throat> so what what you want is to put the cable this length inside the spring uh, like so inside so you have to cut it uh, accordingly so let me do the cutting let me zoom out a bit strip the wire there we go maybe a bit more hold on let's see it on camera put some solder on it maybe use some spots to help me there we go Okay, uh, kind of hard to do on ca with the camera. Let's see if I can do it properly. There you go. <coughs> so we got one side done. There we go. 
and we need to have a different no let's just cut it first I think that that I think that is enough let's make sure it so it's about this it's just about this size I suppose twist it and solder it uh, it's going to be hot so I'll be using uh, I'll be using a uh, uh, hammer stand Place some flux on this, or I just can dab it like so. Now we'll see if this length is appropriate. And this is just too long. So it's basically a simple job, but not really. <clears throat> In reality, it's not that simple. It's not that real. It's not that simple. Of course, it's kind of fiddly to put the cable inside. I'm not sure if I can do it. The spring is in, is on the, in, on it, is holding it. Come on, if I can do it. So. All right, I think I'll. Still too big. Okay, where's my tweezer? As you can see, it's quite fiddly doing this. That should do it. It's inside, if you can see it. Now let's put some solder on it. Um, let's do it. Let's um, make sure your your solder is hot enough because with a driver like this, it usually sinks a lot of heat. So you, if your solder doesn't have heat capacity you'll have trouble soldering it so let's just do it let's just do it have this on the let's solder on the top side there you go yeah, which one? there you go Top side is done. And we need to solder it. Clean the tip first. All right, my solder doesn't go inside. Let's see if I can jam it. Yeah, there it is. So, yeah, I think I can. There we go. Now it's going to soak up the heat. So I'm going to run it up. Sitting up. Okay, the solder is flow, flowing now. There you go. Oh, not enough. I think I'll put more solder in. It's done. I hope you can see it. Now the. It's still hot, still piping hot. As you can see now. It, this side is done, you just need to do three more.
All right, uh, that is the final spring. All spring are now, are now done, as you can see. Still often hot. Which one is hot? Yep, as you can see now. All four spring has a bypass, so let's try it on the, whether it increase or increase the lumens or not. Let's put all the part back together. So uh, we've done the the spring bypass mode on this flashlight. In this case, it's which, which is uh, BLF Q8. So did we get uh, an improvement? We certainly get some improvement. Um, so um, yeah, um, I hope this helps you to do your spring bypass mode on your own flashlight. The technique I'm showing here is not it's not what you call professional, but uh, this is what worked for me with all my flashlight. I've been doing this with several flashlights, so I hope this video can help you out, help you out and do your own modification. So thank you for watching.